tell by the title of the video, today I am talking about my big announcement that I am going to Disney World! <laughs> Keep screaming. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to film this video for days. We booked our trip on Friday. It was like being booked on Thursday and then there was a problem, but it was officially booked on Friday and I've been wanting to film it since Thursday but I didn't have time so I'm filming it today which is Sunday which is the same day it's going up and it, my eye just twitched which is weird. I'm so so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I love Disney. Clearly I have my sister's ears on um, because I don't own my own pair. I do own a pair but they're like a children's from my Minnie Mouse costume when I was younger so these are like much more like my size. Um, so I have so many things I want to talk about in this video. So I'm going to start at the beginning of my Disney journey. Um, I have been to Disney World before. I've been to Disney World three times in the past. This is going to be my fourth trip. So the first time I went, I was about four years old and I do remember the trip very well. Um, my parents took me and my brother with um, my dad's parents and my mom's mom and my mom's brother. And it was one of my mom's brothers and it was amazing. I'm not sure if my parents are going to say that I was the most well-behaved person, but I just remember being happy the whole time. Um, we saw everything. I remember seeing the Mulan parade. Um, I was going through, my mom made a scrapbook of the vacation and I was just like remembering so much of it. We saw Mulan and Shang in a parade, which I don't think is there anymore. Um, I vividly remember being in Mickey and Minnie's houses and Mickey's Toontown Fair, which is not there anymore. Um, I met Ariel in her old grotto, which is not there anymore, um, in the old fantasy land. And that picture is actually of my Instagram because I did announce um, literally the minute after the trip was booked, I posted these photos on Instagram of um, the two times that I have met Ariel um, to announce that I was going. Um, so I met Ariel, it was so magical, she told me that our hair was exactly the same, and it was her hair um, from that iteration of her in the parks um, looks exactly like my hair color, which is crazy because there are a few people that actually do have my hair color. So to create a character with my exact color was so, I was enamored. I was like, my God, I'm her, <laughs> um, which I still do believe. So there's that. Yeah, that trip was so magical. We met so many characters, we did character dining. We rode some rides, not too many because my brother and I were really little. My brother was two or three and I was three or four um so yeah that was amazing and then the next time I went was about two to three years later I'm not exactly sure and I used to do dance competitions when I was younger a little known fact about me I was a dancer not anymore <laughs> and my dance school um, was competing down in Disney World so we went down and that trip I remember a lot more of the trip I remember um, a lot of the like character things and specific memories from my first trip but my second trip specifically I remember riding Pirates of the Caribbean I is it Caribbean or Caribbean I don't know how you say it um I was enamored with that ride I loved it it was my favorite one and I think we rode it two or three times that whole trip I was I just loved it so much um but I was so focused on my dance stuff that I don't really remember a lot of the Disney stuff we did um, where I know that my brother and my dad got to do a lot of the park stuff so um, I just remember being in workshops and dance rehearsals and then we got to dance down Main Street which was so cool I know my parents have a photo of it but I don't know where it is um, and I want to find it because it was so it's such a crazy thing to have done and it's really cool and I just like love that memory of being in my favorite place and like being in the parade it was really cool that was super fun and then the next time I went I didn't go for like years the, la the last time I went was in 2013 um so it was about 10 11 years later that I went to Disney and I went my senior year of high school my choir and I'm not sure if it was the band or the orchestra I think it was the band um took a trip down there so I went with my best friends in high school and we were there for four days it was so much fun um a lot of the new stuff was there so we got to see the like base of new fantasy land um the 
a little bit of the new stuff that was in Epcot and Hollywood Studios, which I still refer to as MGM. Um, the first two trips I went, it was MGM, and that's how I know it. Um, we didn't go to downtown Disney, um, but that's how I still remember it. It's not Disney Springs to me. Everyone keeps saying Disney Springs, and I'm like, it's not Disney Springs, it's downtown Disney. <laughs> um, and I know there are a couple people that are with me on this one. So, um, yeah, I've like, I have so many different memories of different iterations of the parks that it's crazy to like keep going back and see new things and be like, wait, where's this? Oh my gosh, it's gone, no way. Um, Cause I don't really keep up with a lot of the stuff that like changes that happen unless they're like super impactful to me, which like they wouldn't be cause I'm up in New Jersey. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, the last time I went was amazing and I met a bunch of characters. I rode a bunch of rides and that's, Obviously I was 18 years old, I have so many memories from that trip. And on that trip I bought these ears, which you can still buy in case you were wondering, if you were like, wow I really like those pink sequin ears. You can still buy them because I've been watching a lot of haul videos recently um, just to see what they have at the parks and if I'm interested in getting anything, getting anything while I'm down there. These ones are still available, I don't remember how much they were, I bought them for my sister like I said. Um, so that's these and then I also started my pin collection the last time I was down there so I thought I would show you guys that because it's really small. I bought this lanyard, I remember it was in MGM, Hollywood Studios, and it's reversible which I really liked about it. I'm super into versatility um, and also if I end up filling up one side I could also just pop things on the back too. Um, so the side that I'm using right now is these blue and white mini Mickey Mickey ears and then the other side says Walt Disney World and then I have four pins currently. I'm not super into pin trading necessarily because um, I when I get attached to something like there's a meaning behind it for me so um, I don't know that I will ever want to trade any of my pins if that makes sense. So the first pin I ever bought was this Ariel one. She's in, they call it her wedding dress, but it's green. So I'm like, uh, this isn't her wedding dress, I'm sorry. Um, so this is, my first pin was Ariel for obvious reasons. I just thought that that would be super sentimental for me and just like the perfect way to start off my pin collection. And then the second one I got, I traded with my friend Hannah while we were on the trip because we did like the mystery packs. So I remember we traded these and I have like a little dragon guy and then the last one I got our last day there and it's um, Cinderella in front of her castle and it says 2013 and Walt Disney World and I wanted to get one to commemorate the trip so I'm when I'm down there I'll see which ones they have that have 2017 on them because I feel like even if I just get one pin every time I go and I use it to commemorate the trip as a whole, that's probably what I'll end up doing. And then the last pin I have on here isn't a Disney pin, but it's Disney inspired. I follow Bibbidi Bobbidi Brook on Instagram and I did feature this in an Instagram post when I got it a couple weeks ago. It is um, Ariel inspired Minnie Mouse ears and it is so beautiful. I love her Instagram and her store and the ears she makes and the pins she makes. They're just so beautiful. And when I got it and actually opened it, I had no idea how beautiful it was. It's sparkly and big. Like it's huge compared to these pins. Like it's a substantial pin. So yeah, I really love this one. So that's my little pin collection. And then as you guys know, I love Disney. I have my Disney mugs. Um, I have um, an Ariel keychain that my friend gave me. I have an Ariel compact that my friend gave me. I have a bunch of stuffed animals that are Disney. So I'm really excited to go down there. So this trip that I'm taking, we're going in September. I'm not gonna tell you the exact dates I'm going down there just cause I like don't feel really comfortable doing that. But we're going in September and we'll be there for Food and Wine Festival in Epcot, which we're really excited about. We are all 22 years old um, and we'll be early celebrating Sam's birthday because she's going to be turning 23 right after our trip. So that'll be really fun. And we're going to get to do like drinking around Epcot and more of the like adult side of Disney, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, we're going to road trip down there which we're really really excited about. We have our road trip playlist going and I will be vlogging the whole trip so you can absolutely stay tuned for that. I've been planning like what I want to do in the car and the actual trip and if I want to break it up into days, one long video, those kinds of things. So if you guys have any um, 
specific things that you would love to see out of a Disney World vlog, then let me know um, because I have been there a couple times. So it's not going to be like me showing every single thing I see because I've seen it before. So you know what I mean? I kind of want to do it like through my eyes. If that makes sense. We're doing that. We are going to Universal for one day. Our first day, like full day that we're there, we will be going to Universal, which we're super excited about. I went to Universal in 2013 with my choir. That was our last day there. And we did sort of like the whole park. We did most of Harry Potter World. Like it was not fully built then. It didn't have Gringotts or anything like that. It was like it's an original base. Like they weren't constructing anything. It was done. Um, so it was beautiful. The rides were awesome. Um, so I'm excited to sort of like really explore that because we didn't have that much time and this time we'll have like a full day to do it. So we're doing Harry Potter World, which we're all super excited about. I am a Hufflepuff. Let me know what Hogwarts house you are because I will be repping my Hufflepuff squad in my outfit somehow. I still haven't figured it out, but you'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, Badger for life. That's me. <laughs> we're doing Harry Potter World and then, um, that's our main focus is to like really delve into Harry Potter World and then sort of see what else the park has to offer that we want to see. And then we're doing five days in Disney World, which we're super excited. So the only thing we're not doing is the two water parks, um, but we'll be doing the rest of the main parks. So Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, MGM, and we'll be going to downtown Disney, Disney Springs whatever. So that's really exciting and we're super, super excited. We keep texting each other about it. We have a Pinterest board going for photo inspiration because you know our Instagrams are going to be popping and I want to make sure this vlog is super great and I'm starting to plan all my videos that I want to film um, leading up to the trip and after the trip. So I will definitely be doing haul videos when I buy things for the trip. I will definitely be doing a road trip packing video as well as my theme park bag packing video. Um, I plan on probably doing a makeup tutorial on makeup I wear in the parks. I'm thinking I want to do a get ready with us with my friends while we're down there in our hotel room and I will be doing a haul post the trip. I will have the vlogs of the trip. So if you have any Disney videos specifically, either like a tutorial or a tag video or anything at all please let me know because I would love to film that so like end of August most of September is gonna be mostly Disney themed videos which I'm really excited about because I have my Disney princess videos on here but I feel like I haven't let you guys know how much of a Disney nerd I am so I'm really excited for that and to finish out this video I thought I would just answer a couple Disney tag questions I found this one on Google so I'm just going to um, pick out a couple questions to answer the first one that popped out at me was what do you prefer CGI or hand-drawn animation personally I love the hand-drawn animation movies um, Peter Pan, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, um, Little Mermaid like all of those Aladdin um, there's just something about the quality of the animation in the videos that I'm so drawn to maybe it's because it's what I grew up with but it's just so amazing to me that like the technology they were able to do with like hand-drawn two movies like it there's something in my brain that like doesn't make sense with that but it's so cool um, I do like some of the CGI movies I think they went through a bit of a rough patch for a while but recently with like Princess and the Frog Tangled, Frozen, Moana, Merida, a Brave, <laughs> um, they have really gotten into the computer animation stride, so I'm excited to see where they go now. I think Moana has been their most successful CGI um, animation film, personally. That's how I personally, personally feel. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to see where they go with it, but I personally prefer hand-drawn animation. Would you like to have a Disney-themed wedding if there is a concrete movie for it? Which one is it? So I have been asked this question before. A lot of my friends have always said, oh, you're going to get married down at Disney, or you're definitely going to have like a fully Disney-themed wedding, and I would like to have Disney hints in my wedding. I do not want it to be like bam, I'm wearing Minnie Mouse ears down the aisle type thing. Um, that's just not who I am. Um, I will probably have like a phrase written on a board that goes back to a Disney movie. Some of my centerpieces will probably have like 
little hints of Disney. I saw this Pinterest cake one time that was just like a beautiful plain like gorgeous cake on the front and then you turn around and it was like a curtain was being pulled apart and all the superhero logos were down the center so I think something like that would be really fun to do um, but I'm not gonna have like BAM I'm having a Disney wedding. You know what I mean? Which character did slash do you have a serious crush on? I have a huge crush on Prince Eric. Shocker. I mean hi um the, I can't explain it I don't know what it is ever since I was little and to this day I still have a huge crush on Prince Eric I just I do that's it all-time favorite Disney soundtrack that's hard <laughs> tweeted um, that I think The Hunchback of Notre Dame is the most underrated Disney soundtrack. It's beautiful. I love listening to it. The music in it is so fantastic. Like everything from the vocals to the orchestration, just everything is on point. Um, but I don't know that it's my favorite. I love Little Mermaid. I just, I love it. There's, there's just so many great things about it. Anything really that Alan Menken has touched I'm obsessed with. End of story. Like any soundtrack that Alan Menken has done, I'm like done. I love it. It's great. But I love every Disney soundtrack. I don't think there's a single Disney movie that I'm like, nah, I didn't really like the music in that one. And I like them all for different reasons because they all like fit the movie. Make sense? Um, scene in Disney film that makes you cry. I probably honestly, wow, probably honestly. I think I cry at least once in every Disney movie. At least. Because it's either like there's a really sad scene or it's that I'm so happy at the end of the movie that I'm just like, like at the end of Little Mermaid when Ariel is with Prince Eric married and waving to her dad and her sisters and her Mer family, I'm like bawling because it's just, it's like sad because she's leaving them and she's also going for like a happier life and she's going to see them. It's not like she's never going to see them again. And yeah, so that makes me cry. Obviously, Lion King, I'm not gonna say the scene because it's just gonna like really hit home for a lot of people, but like that scene in Lion King, you know, makes me cry. Um, in Mulan 2, ever, I'm, I'm not gonna say it in case you haven't seen the movie, but there is a specific scene in Mulan 2, and if you've seen the movie, you know which one I'm talking about that makes me cry. Um, at the end of Sleeping Beauty, when he wakes her up, I'm bawling. I'm like, oh my god, he found her, this is great. So yeah, I cry probably at least once in every Disney movie because I, um, yeah. I don't really have an explanation for it, I just do. And I'm not like a really emotional person, so I don't know. First Disney film you have seen, I saw this question and went to go ask my dad because I don't remember. He thinks that the first Disney movie I was shown was Dumbo, which I feel like I remember my mom telling me a couple years ago. Um, but I do not associate Dumbo as like my first Disney movie. I specifically remember Little Mermaid like over and over and over. I would just watch that all the time. I would act it out. I would sing it. I would do everything. I had Ariel pajamas. I had flounder slippers. I loved, I love Ariel. Um, so that's like the main Disney movie that I like associate with my childhood. But I think the first one they probably showed me was Dumbo. And then like Peter Pan. And I had a Cinderella birthday when I was like three. So I'm sure I was watching Cinderella. Um, I was really into Disney when I was little. I still am. If you could be any Disney princess, who would you be? Enough said. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of this video and I'm so, so, so excited to go to Disney. So please give this video a thumbs up if you are a Disney lover like me and let me know in the comments down below um, if you're taking a trip to Disney, if you love Disney, if you've been to Disney World, Disneyland, if you have any Disney themed videos that you would like to see me do, please let me know. Um, 
and I will be filming a lot of my process getting ready for this and like outfits and tutorials and just like everything Disney. I'm so excited. So yeah, and make sure you're following me on my social media. My Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook are down below as always because I will definitely be posting a lot on my Instagram and my Twitter, especially when I'm down in Florida. So you won't want to miss anything. Um, so yeah. That's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave so that you don't miss any videos coming in the future. And I hope you guys have a magical day. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.